Hello everyone, and this is BioPhoenix here, and today we're going to do another random ass anime review. And since it's October, we're going to take a look at something kind of horror related, and the one I picked out was an OVA called Biohunter. And yeah, part of the reason why I picked this one out is because it happens to have a part of my username within it, but also because I haven't seen it before and I thought it looked kind of interesting. So without further ado, let's talk about the film. So the first thing you see when you turn on this film is that you see a really awkward sex scene where a dude gets his hand ripped out. Yeah, now that's what I call a hand job. Basically, the point of this scene is that it's supposed to show you that someone has been infected by a virus. And then after, it moves on to the two main characters of this film. So there is Komaida and Koshigaya. So both of these guys work at a college during the daytime, but during nighttime, they call themselves the Bio Hunters because they're trying to come up with a cure for this disease that's going around turning everyone into monsters. In a weird way, it kind of reminds me of Resident Evil. In fact, the manga actually came out many years before Resident Evil, so it makes me wonder if Capcom was somewhat inspired by this. Or maybe it was just a coincidence, who knows. But anyways, the kicker about uh, Komaida's character is that he is actually half human, half monster. So it turns out that he was uh, infected in a very unique way. And it seems like that his monster powers usually kick in whenever he's in danger. But on top of trying to cure this virus, the two main characters also hear about a murder that's going around that happens to be a character that can also transform into a monster. And he is quite literally eating people out. And one day when Komaida is walking around the street at night, he ends up finding a girl who is being chased by a bunch of thugs. And just before he was about to transform, the cops interfere and the thugs leave. And the girl that was being harassed ends up uh, pretending to be with uh, Komaida just for the sake of the cops not realizing that there's just nothing going on. So it turns out that this girl is named Sayaka, and she's always being hunted down by these thugs because apparently they are involved with some of the murders that are happening. So Komaida and Koshigaya end up trying to help her out and they end up just running away from the area. And while all this is going on, Komaida is just trying to fight with his inner self for that he doesn't know if he can really act like a human anymore. So yeah, that pretty much sums up what you need to know about the film. It's just two scientists that are trying to protect a girl, while one of them ends up actually being a half-human, half-demon. So now, let's get moving on and start talking about the show's animation. And for 1995, the animation is not really great, but it's also not really bad either, but there is a few things about them that do kind of stand out. Such as the gore effects, the action, and some really good close-ups. In fact, I find that Komaida's uh, transformation sequence actually does look really cool. But everything else is just kind of okay. I mean, the character designs are really nothing special, except for uh, Komaida's demon form. I do think that actually looks really cool, but everyone else is pretty generic looking and nothing really stands out. And as I said, for 1995, it definitely could have been better. And as for the music, sadly, it's pretty forgettable. Like, the music in this movie is not bad, but there's just nothing really much that stands out. And another thing that's a damn shame is that because this film is supposed to be a horror, it doesn't really have a whole lot of, like, horror sounds into it. It doesn't feel atmospheric much. Probably the best part of the music would have to be, like, the last, like, 15 minutes of the film. Not only is the music at that part actually really fitting with the scene, but also I do think it does uh, fit well with the dark tone. But everything else is just kind of mediocre. And as for the voice acting, if you are watching this one in English, I gotta say, the direction here is kind of a mess. And it's also unfortunate that the dub isn't good, because it does have a few decent actors in here. But the main one I want to talk about is the main character, Komaida. He is actually voiced by Matt McKenzie. Now, he's a voice actor that rarely gets any roles. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I have no idea what that is. But I can definitely say that from the roles that I've heard him in, such as in uh, Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust as Bargoff, and in Final Fantasy X, he played uh, Orin. So from just those two roles, I can say that he is definitely fucking amazing, and I really do like the way how his voice sounds in them. But sadly, in this anime, he's just kind of okay. I mean, I can at least say he did a better job than everyone else in here, but this is definitely one of the weaker roles that I've ever heard him in so far. But I don't blame that on him, I blame it more on the director than anything. And the same thing can be said for the rest of the cast, so you got Matt K. Miller, Sherry Lynn, Mike Reynolds, who is probably not related to uh, Burt Reynolds, and finally, Barbara Goodson. 
So the cast is pretty decent for the most part, but it's just piss poorly done, which is a damn shame. So yeah, if you're gonna watch this one, I'd suggest watching in Japanese. It actually is a lot better, at least for the most part from what I can tell. But I felt like I just had to watch the dub for this one, mostly because of Matt McKenzie, because like I said, he doesn't get enough roles and I really wish he did. So now, as for my overall thoughts on Biohunter, is that you're probably thinking I'm gonna give this one a really bad review just from like the shit that I'm saying, but the thing is though, I actually did somewhat like this one. I actually thought it was pretty decent. Yeah, that's probably the best word I can use for this review, is that it's decent. Now even if the concept isn't the most original thing ever, I did thought it was pretty interesting. Also, the chemistry between uh, Komaida and Koshigaya was also pretty good. Especially considering that this OVA is like, maybe like, 58 minutes. So knowing that, the development isn't like anything crazy deep, but I can at least say that it does do a decent job given how much time was made. And besides, I think it's better that they're trying to focus more on a smaller cast and trying to give like, huge developments to like a whole bunch of characters. And I'm pretty sure that the manga itself is probably better than the OVA, but I don't know for sure, but I would like to read it eventually. For that, this OVA has at least held my interest all the way through. So yes, Biohunter, I wouldn't consider it to be amazing or great, but I also don't think it's terrible or trash, but I also didn't find it to be mediocre and boring. Which is why I consider it to be decent and above average. It has a few good elements that I do really like, but of course, I think it just could have been a lot better. And especially the music, because most horror animes usually have some really great OSTs, but unfortunately, this one's OST was pretty disappointing for how forgettable it was, except for nearing the ending, that at least saved it from being below average. But compared to many others I've seen, such as Another, Vampire Hunter D, Vampire Princess Miyu, and then of course there's a Helsing, it's definitely a far cry. 